back it has. I'm starting to recognize my room. It's pretty much where I want to stay. This place is really weird. I mean, I like it. And it's really good to be at the parents' house. But it's like I felt closer to everybody before I moved in. There's always so many people here. I just want to brush my teeth. There's another party last night. One band upstairs, one band downstairs. Beer all over the middle. It stinks. What about like Cynthia? She's been here for a month, just on the couch. Apparently she's gonna stay, I guess, I don't know. I just wish she'd pick a room. You know, it used to be really cool and exciting, you know, the rocket house, people always there, party every night. Yeah, great, but I have to go to work so I can pay rent so all the freaks can stay here. It's a drag sometimes. Bullshit, man. I'm getting out of this town on a rail, man. We gotta go to fucking St. Louis, man. I'm gonna join a carnival or something. I can't stand seeing my sister in the street every day. You just get out of here. Totally free. You get up there, you get all the space you want. No one to mess with you. No phones. Nothing. You can build a castle. It's gonna be fresh. You got Elder Barge and Tootie living down here. You got Prince and Sheila E. getting raw and royal sweet. And me, dining at the captain's table. I'm serious, man. I'm gonna build a castle. I'm gonna be a king. It's gonna be bad. Fuck. What? I gotta go to my parents' house for Sunday brunch tomorrow. You don't wanna go, don't go. I have to. It's like my brother moved out three years ago and he still comes every Sunday. Oh, isn't his band playing tomorrow night? Yeah. Hey, did you ask about getting us on the list? I mean, mm -hmm. you can ask tomorrow. I could, but he's always such a dick about it. You know, it's like, we put everybody on the list that asked for to play in the stadium. I don't, I don't think he's that bad. Look at all this. Garbage to some, beauty to others. Pizza with a band-aid in it? I'm like, I don't know. How big was it? Mm. It's like, I don't know, I threw it in the garbage. And I'm like, well fuck you! What do you want from me? Hang up on him.
Hey man, I'm going to work. Do you need anything copied? I don't have anything down there. You sure? Yeah, thanks though. Excuse me. Excuse me, three please. Thank you. Around two o'clock at the theater. Eight people watching. I bet there's about a hundred people that come see movies in the afternoon in this town. I pretty much know all of them by name. And there's the gray, gray coatman, red cap girl. Spinster Lady Vulture Twins. I feel like a fucking gerbil. A little cage. A little breathing hole. Hello? Water straw. Hello, focus please. Can we have a little focus please? It looks like hell. Totally eating me alive. It's time to go. Yeah, I guess I got a pretty good idea of what you mean. Like when things get really corrupt for me, I usually go down to the hardware store, buy myself a big can of shellac, and I make something that takes care of me. That's me. Yeah, see? You make things. I don't do anything. Mm. I feel like maybe I should just go someplace else, you know, someplace where I know no one, have no history. I mean, it's fucked. I go to the store and the cashier thinks he knows everything about me just because he knows my mom put pure grain in my baby formula. What have you done to your hair? It was so pretty, and you cut it. Yes, I cut it. 
I don't know how you're ever going to get a boyfriend looking like that. Maybe I don't need to be pretty, you know, just because that's some... So, what did you do today? A government bill to crack some stuff. Tara, how many times have I asked you not to snack before a meal? Well, now that you've already done it, please wash your hands before you set the table. By the way, Tara, have you finished the application to U of L that you started last week? I looked at it. And do you know when you might have it finished? I don't even know if I want to go to college. I know that if I go to college, I don't want to stay in Louisville. Tara, I don't understand. Your dad and I both went to U of L and got an excellent education. What's the matter? Isn't it good enough for you? Tara, you know how to set the table. Give me that silverware. I'll do it myself. Give it to me. Just go up and tell your brother that dinner's ready. Go away! Look, Mom's in a mood and she wants you downstairs now. Look, I'm busy with the guillotines. Look, I wouldn't fuck with her tonight. I'm serious. Oh, did Tara Jane piss her off again? I was reading about this thing. It's called etiquette. It greases the cogs of social interaction. Um, maybe you should try it sometime, Tara. Man, you're so full of shit. Yeah, whatever. I, you know, we'll be down whenever. We gotta finish our encore. Hey, Tara, man, what do you think? 1999 or Gloria tonight? I don't know. Yeah, don't ask her, man. She didn't even understand our whole thing. How do you know you're even gonna get an encore? See? Thanks. Thanks. What are you playing with tonight? Juanita. What a stupid name. Man, they're awesome. Do you think you could maybe get me and a friend on the list? Why don't, you, why don't you just do the old double stamp like we used to do in the old day? Do you cut your hair? I'll get you in, man. It looks weird. Hey, look, the badass is back. How was food? Food was good. Can't bit. Hey, Jessica, about getting us on the list? Shut up, would you? Think they'll play 1999 again tonight? Maybe. I hope not. Hey, y'all, Vikings wanna ride? Oh, fuck you! game. Hey, what's going on? Hey. Did you guys get in okay? Yeah, thanks. This is 
Cynthia. Hey, this is. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh wait, you're living there now. It's cool. How's it working out? Pretty good. I don't know. I was hoping it'd be more like. Yeah, something, you know? Yeah, it's pretty totally crazy over there. It's so crowded, I don't even know if I'm gonna stay. That's cool. Um Yeah, well are you guys gonna watch us tonight? Yeah. It's gonna be pretty totally crazy, so um but uh yeah I guess I'll see you guys later, you know. I got I gotta go shave. Okay, see ya. Yeah, where's Waldo? First rule of show business to you guys, you gotta remember, you leave him wanting more. But everybody's leaving, man! No, I swear to God, let him drool a little bit. I swear to God, it works. See, that's why we need fucking security at the shows, man. I mean, this would never happen to a real band like fucking Lemonheads or Dinosaur Jr. or something. I mean, even Stooges had that dude Zeke, the crazy Vietnam vet guy. And you have to understand, half this business is about accounting, and the other half is about publicity and, and gimmicks like this. And she fucked up our encore, and that's why we couldn't use it, man. You're this so full of shit, man. She didn't fuck up the encore. You fucked up the encore. And as far as this fucking little goddamn tramp encore bullshit goes, it's stupid, man. It's hey, just so come stupid. on, man. It's not stupid, man. And my mom gave me that for Christmas. And check it out, man. If Townsend had one of these at Woodstock, he would have blown Hendrix off stage. Check this out, man. Check it. Come on, for real.
We're here. We're here. I'm pretty hungry. Let's eat. How much money do we have? Two cents on top of that. Come on, <laughs> Jeff, dig deep. Man, we're gonna have to go go dance or something to eat. Or become really <laughs> kick ass landscape artists, dog. <laughs> That'd be bad, dog. <laughs> Walking, you know, but
perfect. What is this? Sorry. I mean, we suck at this. Yeah, this is not gonna work. Let's sell the guitars. No. What? Well, I'm hungry. Let's pawn them or something. Yeah, no way. No. You can't just sell someone's stuff. Well, then what are we supposed to do? This is bullshit, man. I can't eat on this shit. Cool, man. We'll take some of those. How many? One. Is there anything else I can help you with? Um, well, we're actually uh, a band on tour, and uh, um, we're looking for a place to play. See, our show here got canceled. Uh, uh, like some kind of like, like a flood wall or a hall or, uh, I, don't, I don't know, we just need to play in there. Uh, actually there is a show tonight. No way! Uh, maybe I can get you on the show. Um, I have to make a phone call first. Man, that would be the greatest. What kind of music you guys say you play? Experimental. Kind of noisy. Fucking Sonic spoof. <clears throat> Sean, hey, what's up? Uh, is there any room on the bill tonight for another band? Uh, yeah, there's these guys here from out of town. Uh, where'd you guys say you were from? Yeah, whatever, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Um, Okay, yeah. All right, I'll tell him. See ya. All right, he says you can play. Yeah! Good, good. Okay, do you promise you the money or anything? All right, all right. Okay. I guess you can go and hang out down at Sean's house. It's right around the corner. Go down to the corner and turn. Go to the double doors with the postcards on them and knock on the door. So what's the name of your band? Truck stop. Yeah, I like dirty enough to stop the truck. It's like F, F minor, G, C, C flat. C flat. And D. Okay, like, okay. So this was a G. No, G's way up here, like uh, up here. Okay. By these okay. black things? Yeah, but uh, you can, I mean, if you're all distorted and stuff, no one's going to be able to tell that you yeah. can't play. I mean, totally. Is that a new guy? There's a little cut under my eye. These people are really out of their minds. It's a good thing, though. I mean, if it isn't, I am. There's 78% of murders are committed by people who knew their victims. I wonder how many vans are stolen each day. I wonder how many people get away with it. I guess I'm a bandit now.
Hey, man. Carrying all this shit in tonight. You guys want to share some stuff? Yeah, sure. Sure, sure. Can I ask you, boy? Oh. Zildjian. They got speakers in them. Square. So you need a sound check? Huh? A sound check. You need one. Yes. No. this band um i don't really know you booked them didn't you uh, not really um, so what do they sound like art rock have a good time hey hey thanks for coming thank you have a good time sean hey what's up yeah um Remember that guy Otis from Louisville? Yeah, uh, the guy with the hair? Yeah, his band um, that played here a little while ago. Yeah, I remember them. Okay, um, I got a weird phone call from him today. Really? Yeah, um, seems that all of his equipment and his band has been stolen. Fuck. And uh, he said to be on the lookout for his sister and uh, all of her friends in the van. Man, holy shit.
Man, that shit sucked. so good. That was so intense. I'm completely blown away by you guys. Thanks. It was so great. I, Thanks. Man, we can't even play. What? We're not gonna play. We can't yeah. follow that. Man, you're gonna fucking play. What do you I are. look like, Tony Bennett? We can't follow that shit. Man, come on, play. Please play. Alright. Thanks for coming Man, to our you guys show fucking rock now. That was magnificent. You all, what? I, I was wondering if we could come to your town sometime and, and, and play with you guys because we, really we got this little again. thing going in all our right. basement called Chicken Dance. We sound kind of like Leonard man, Skinner at Bauhaus. Dance. I do a chicken well, dance. Love it, man. Um, you like the show? Yeah. Yeah, they were pretty neat, surprisingly. You know? Yeah. Let me give this a shot and be right back. Okay, man. It was a completely fucking religious experience. His name was Caleb and his arms were flailing over, busting me right in the fucking nose. <laughs> Man, I was fucked up. Oh, thanks. I'll talk to you guys. Hey, that was kind of neat. Um, like a bad escort or something. <laughs> oh, God! You kind of remind me of this guy. Like, like space, like train, like shark. This and all things in a straight line, but then right there, like a burrito, crush group, crush group, boom, it's all gone. Black Death Man, you have to take this fucking money. Please take it. Man, what the fuck is that? Some money from the door tonight. I'm not taking that shit, man. Man, you have to fucking take it. We always give it to bands from out of town. No way, man. You guys deserve it, not us. It's your show. Take this fucking money or I'm gonna kill you. Okay, man. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, we got this cat. Cat named Barney. Barney Mueller. No job. Anyway, our cat would eat everything. Anything at all, it would eat. Every day of the fifth grade, this guy would take me out in the hallway and bust my ass with his big fucking holes in the paddle, you know, the ones where you can hear it coming. Make me bend over, grab my toes, and say, Are you ready? Are you ready? Like three or four times. So, are you ready? Here it comes. Hell, yeah, yeah, man, I was wearing underwear. Walked up behind our cat. Barney grew a second tail. Man, that's sick. Yeah, that's that cool. reminds me of my friend, J.R. Man, how many shirts did we sell already? Oh, man, we sold all of them. No way. I totally thought that was a stupid idea. How much is that? Oh, we sold all of them. Yeah, this record is live at some point. It's so bad. How much money do we have? We well, bought Shannon Barber a couple beers. Yeah. So, so how much is left? Like forty dollars? Everyone was being so nice. I couldn't sell 
the shirts full price in them. I just couldn't do it. How much do we have? <clears throat> Eight bucks. Eight bucks? It's not gonna get us to the expressway. It's a good thing we had that. Where did you get this? Where did you get this? Sean gave us the whole door. <laughs> He's so cool. Now give me that back. Where's the other eight bucks? Ate it. about that please leave it uh, any other promoters or anybody for anybody else in this house please leave a name and a number we'll get back to you thanks a lot We used to live above these couple of practice spaces. And one night I got really fucked up on Cooter Rum in the gym. <laughs> and I broke in their window in the back in the alley. And I switched both the two bands shit around. And uh, one of the guitar players came in and was fucking freaking out because his marshal wasn't there. And he called the pigs, you know? And uh, he had a water bong sitting there on the floor. And they fucking took his ass in for pot. Uh. I was so happy about that. Okay. <laughs> Man, I've got a story for you, Sean. Let's have it. You know our our equipment? Oh yeah. Yeah. You know how we how we don't exactly know how to put everything together.
whole deal, man. We've been playing the same shit all night, and you can't even come up with anything we can catch on to. Let's just do it again. I think about right now. If you're curious, why don't you just give him a call? Uh, I kind of did already. Mm. I can't change. What do you say? Nothing really. Get the answering machine. You feeling kind of shaky? Yeah, I mean, I'm in Tennessee. I stole my pants, man. I took you guys with me. Yeah, I so good. If you're feeling freaked out about it, maybe we should just go back. Oh, yeah. I want to go to Morgan David. I do have a friend there that sometimes puts on shows. I could probably hook you guys up. But I don't know if you should be riding around in that stolen van. You could trade vans. We can't trade my parents' van. Look, I know what you're saying, but I could have it painted. I could keep it off the road for a few weeks until shit cools down. He's 
right. They're going to be looking for the five kids in that kind of van. What do you think, T? Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'm going to keep Hey, man. Stay away from the man. All right, you too. Bye, everyone. Let's go. Take it easy, man. Truck stop. Let's go. Be careful. Take good care of your store, man. Tell us. Man. 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 All right, he's well He's going to be an awesome drummer. Man, you are too, man. Man, that's funny to fuck you. in these places. He's having a party in that van. Jackson, that's a transmission rule. You gotta check that too. When the car is on, you check the transmission rule. Turn that shit on. Just check the oil. I played at this crazy basement club last night. It was fucking great. The van broke down and the guy who towed it fixed it and then told us about the show and got us on the bill. Watch out. Wait a minute, we gotta put some money in the meter. Fuck a bunch of parking meters, man. We don't have that kind of money. So we haven't had a show in three days. We sold a couple t-shirts to some passers on the street. But like, we don't have any money. It's really kind of scary. Uh, can we get that money? Said you guys ain't getting shit. You're not getting a goddamn penny. Shut up! Fuck you, man. This place is not going to be happy. It's open night night. Man, it's no hell tonight, man. You know that. I don't know what I think I'm doing. I mean, if Dad hasn't called the cops yet, he's probably here, hiding behind some building, watching what we're doing. I'm not really talking anymore. I mean, we're not not talking. There isn't so much to say. Come on, man, just give us some money. Look, motherfucker, tell your story, walking. I'm not giving you a goddamn penny. You understand me? Not one. Man, fuck, fuck you, you man. man. Fuck, fuck you, you. and the goddamn man. horse you rode in on, motherfucker. There's any way I can go back. Hey, look, I told you, I'll look. Man, they're gonna be back here in a second. I'm serious, come on! And we started playing these shows so we could make money so we could eat. 
like this big romantic adventure. And it's not ending. We're not eating, we're not even a fucking band. somewhere. Where are we gonna go? Anywhere. Ready this town? <laughs> Can I just have a water, please? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need a coffee. Coffee? Me too. Two? Uh, actually, uh, make that a coffee for me. Okay, um, three. Get one for him, two. Four. Please. Okay. Something for you? I'll have the original famous chili mac. <laughs> Two eggs, bacon, sausage. Elliot. We only have four sixty-five. Then I'll go get the coffees. I'll be right back, okay? Look, I'm sorry, but I have a pit in my stomach that won't be filled by coffee. Well, I have a huge headache from not having. Oh, Jesus, just shut up, all right? Just get the coffees. And just get some fries, all right? Everybody's happy. Now, why don't you all tell me where you're heading so late tonight? <laughs> Come on, what's going on here? Y'all look like somebody died or something. What's my button say? Look, we're totally broke. We've been driving all night. We don't even know where. Hmm. We don't even like each other anymore. Well, uh, the cook's asleep. Otherwise, I'd, you know, Get y'all some more food or something, but... Don't worry about it. It's not your problem. Well, well I know what. Why don't y'all rob the restaurant? Yeah, there's just me here. I mean, y'all could tie me up. I'll tell them that you didn't have no weapon. I mean, that way there's no felony charge. The owner is a big asshole. I mean, come on, you know what you should do? Come back on Saturday night, because there's just about $60 in the register now. If you come back in on Saturday, they all come in here and drink until about 2 in the morning. You guys could clear $600. Easy. What do you think? Come on. What are you doing, home? Where are you? Never mind, just want to talk to mom or dad. Where the fuck are you? Man, it doesn't matter. This is bullshit. We need our fucking stuff. It does fucking matter, man. I am sorry about that. Sorry doesn't cut it, man. Fuck you. We know where our van is. We know where it is. The guillotines are not friendless. Here's a picture of my friend Bob, I'm making sandwiches in Chattanooga. 
This is that's the time. What the fuck are you doing? Do y'all want to try to get a show? Hey! Do y'all want to try to get a show? Fuck you all! So fucking lame! I want to go home! I want my mommy! All I know is we get a lot farther without your fat ass in the van. I want you to stop yelling! Fucking deal with it! You're all such goddamn wimps. You need to shut the fuck up. If you're a control freak, you flop the handle way too easily, and for Christ's sakes, God damn it, cheer up. All I know is Louisville's the last place I want to be right now, so either A, we can sell some shirts, B, we can get a show, or C, we can scrap it and go home. That's what I was saying. Why don't we sell some fucking t-shirts? Yeah, you're an asshole. Do you ever feel weird? Me. I mean, I'm just having a hard time being myself. It's not weird, it's just different. Hey, y'all are here early. Most bands don't get here about 7 o'clock. Uh, why don't you load in? We can go back to my house and fix dinner. Yeah, that was, that was not nice. Hold on, let me get you. Let me just chop this thing. Hey, I don't, uh, I guess you're Jonathan Marks, are you? Um, I'm Jonathan Marks, who are you? Oh, hey, I'm Dave from the Drifters. Well, who are you? Uh, I don't know, who are you? Surprised <laughs> 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 that you, uh, don't necessarily want to have a baby. I might have an ass baby. <laughs> really ass baby. That's so nice. Oh, man. I didn't bother with it. What do you predict about the fight? Pain! We find some. We could run to God's house. We'd go down and get a hotel room. Well, that's not bad. I mean, you know. 
I mean, short short tours first time out are good. I mean, you get you get a feel for things and see how things work. But because uh, we've been doing this thing for like seven years, and things blur after a while. I mean, you don't remember things last week or a month ago. But uh, early on, I don't know. Things stick with you. It's, it's like these these images uh, get get loaded into a the um, what do you call those things? You put your face in. Viewmaster. Yeah, Viewmaster. All right. So you got this. I know you got this Viewmaster, and it's like okay, all these images from early on the tour. Um, it's like click. Oh, they're hunger. You know, oh, hunger again. It's like, and then there's insomnia because nobody's sleeping. You know, you, you move from that to the boredom because the boredom's like omnipresent everywhere. The same picture. You can take it from town to town, but it's gonna be the same picture. But you know, it's it's not like it's all bad. I mean, there's, there's something that you feel or you wouldn't be out there. There's something that makes you go and do this, makes it seem like it's worthwhile. And that's what's going to transcend the shit, you know. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, <laughs> man. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what? I mean, what? I was supposed to, what? You know? This is kind of cheesy. Cheese is the greatest food to eat. <laughs> I hope together, so. Man. Okay. Okay. We're playing out there with the Grifters. It's a real show. And we've been on tour for Christ's sakes. Sort of. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much every minute. Don't ask me. Yeah, you know. I'm going to apologize for being a freak. Tara. We've all been freaks. We've been whining and complaining this entire trip. I mean, it's kind of over with now. I haven't been that much of a freak. Yeah. 
I'm sorry, I'm not going to say. No, I don't know if there's a phone there. 21847. 21847. I always have to come around. Hey, uh, we're a truck stop from Louisville, Kentucky, and uh, we're really glad to be here. Thanks. Are you Tara Jane O'Neill? Yes, I am. You need to go with me. All right. You guys gotta get me out, okay?
It's all too early.